What's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over five different keyword research tools that all of them are free, completely free keyword research tools that will give you everything you really need to create a great keyword list and to give you a ton of different ideas for how to grow your business. So what we're going to do is we're going to start over here. My favorite, it's basically an entire website SEO tool, but it's probably the best keyword research tool once you start getting some actual data on your website. So the Google Search Console, what we can do here, and this tool is completely free, you can install this for your website completely free using your Google account. And once you do, you can get access to the amount of clicks that your website is getting from the Google Search Engine, the amount of impressions your website's getting from the Google Search Engine. We can come down here and we can see a bunch of the different search terms that are driving clicks and impressions on our website. So it gives us a ton of different ideas for types of keywords that we can optimize our website for and make sure that we have pages on our website that are all ready to go and ready to rank. So when somebody searches for something like a rubber beach bag or for tropical bedding, we can have actual dedicated pages on our website for all of those different search terms. So if we come over here, you can see some of the different pages that drive the most clicks and the most impressions for my website. And what I like to do is see what types of pages drive a lot of impressions. And you can come down here, you can see there's over a thousand here. So let's just look at my top 50 pages in terms of impressions. And as we scroll down here, it gives us a lot of insight into what people are looking up and what is actually ranking on our website. So some of these pages I've spent a lot of time optimizing and it's taken a lot of time to be able to drive these clicks and impressions to these pages. But what you can learn is what types of things people are searching for the most. And then if we start to incorporate average click through rate, average position, we can actually see which pages where they are positioned. So you can see something like wicker baskets here, not completely beach related, but it's in the 70th position, but it's driving a ton of impressions, which means there's a lot of search volume for wicker baskets. That's why I don't get a lot of clicks for that keyword. But if we scroll down here, you can see all of these different pages and what position we have for these different pages. And it gives us ideas for optimization. So right here, beach metal wall art in the 40th position. That's something I can optimize and improve beach living room furniture, high ticket items. So only a 1% click through rate, 34th position. I can, if I can increase these impressions, I can maybe double these clicks and that's going to drive more sales. So if you're seeing really good positions, then that's something you want to maintain as well. Now let's come back to the top and let's look at our search terms. And you can see here, looking at impressions again, average position. So let's do our top 50. And it gives us a lot of different keywords that we can either continue to optimize for, start to optimize for much better than we already have been doing. And what you can really do is as you get further and further down here, let's look at our top 250 and you come all the way down here, you're going to get a ton of different keywords that you may have never even thought about optimizing your website for where I can go on my website and say, let me make sure I have dedicated pages for coral lamps, for mermaid ornaments, which I already do, but let's make sure I have dedicated pages for all these different keywords. And then let's look at opportunities where I'm not driving enough clicks where my click through rates low, my average position is here. It might be the case where I need to improve my headline for this current keyword. So if I click on this keyword, you can actually see the keyword last three months, clicks, impressions. Let's see the page that's ranking for it. And you can see the page that's ranking is best wooden beach signs. And this might be the case where I need to go to this page and I need to improve my title tag for that page. So some different opportunities in the Google search console, I can spend all day in the Google search console and you can get a ton of different ideas. So as you start driving traffic and you start getting clicks from Google, this is one of my favorite tools to use. Now let's move on to our next tool and it's going to be keywords everywhere. So if you watch any of my other keyword research videos, you know that I use keywords everywhere a lot. It's completely free to use. They do have paid programs as well. The paid option is actually a pretty good keyword tool. So if you want to consider trying it, you can, but you can install it for Chrome or you can install it for Firefox. And then what you can do, and this is where I really like it. And we're going to switch over to researching for the keyword Google ads. So we're trying to find some different Google ads, long tail keywords. So the first thing you can see right here is find long tail keywords for Google ads. Once you install keywords everywhere, you're going to get this down here on the right hand side which is going to allow you to see the trend data for Google ads all time. 
keep scrolling down, we could see trending keywords, we can see related keywords, we can see people also search for, and we can see long tail keywords. So just using this data, we can come up with some different keyword ideas and turn them into content ideas. So let's scroll to the top. Trending keywords is always good to see because you can see what people are actively searching the most. And then what we can do is try to start answering some of these questions that people are typing into Google. Now let's scroll to the top and the other thing I like to do is click on find long tail keywords for Google Ads. Now the other thing that I've also done is I've come over to YouTube while this loads and I've done the same search in YouTube. Now keywords everywhere is going to work on Amazon, it's going to work it's going to work on Bing, it's going to work on eBay. So basically anywhere there's a search engine, it works on Pinterest. You can find all sorts of long tail keywords by using keywords everywhere. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing over here find YouTube keywords for Google Ads. The other thing they have for search insights is the ranking difficulty. You can see the search term I entered, maximum views, average views, average age of the video that's here. You can see keywords in title, keywords in description, ad in last seven days. So there's a lot of different insights that you can get from keywords everywhere. And if we click on find YouTube keywords, we'll let this one load. We're looking at our Google Ads keywords here. And as we scroll down, you can see all of these different keywords. Now what you're going to see is these are just in alphabetical order, but what you can do is export this list and you're going to have a ton of different ideas and you just need to go through some of these different keyword ideas like Google ads, best practices, great keyword idea, something that you can try to optimize for and rank for bidding strategies, benchmarks, keep coming down. And if we go to page two here, we have Google ads explained Google ads for YouTube. We have Google ads email. So there's a lot of different keywords here. So what you need to do is kind of go through some of these manually and come up with some different ideas for topics that you can cover on your website, on your YouTube channel, wherever you create content. We can also come over here to YouTube keywords found for Google ads and scroll through these as well. And I use this a lot when I'm looking up for different keyword ideas to see what people are typing in so that I can serve them some type of resource to answer their question. So that's ultimately what we're looking to do here with keywords everywhere. But this is one of my favorite keyword research tools and the free version gives you plenty of different ideas. And if you add pricing, you can actually see search volume, you could see estimated traffic for some of these different keywords. So you can get a lot more insights if you do actually use the premium version, but the paid version will give you plenty of keyword ideas to create content ideas. So next is going to be probably my favorite keyword tool and that's the Google Keyword Planner. So if we come in here, go to just our Google Ads account, you go to tools and settings and under planning, you're gonna click on Keyword Planner. And then you're gonna discover new keywords and you're gonna enter products or services closely related to your business. So what you want to do here is search Google ads and we're going to click on get results. And what I do like here, we're not going to refine any keywords. What I do like here is if I click on average monthly searches, I can see what people are actually typing in the most. This gave me 838 keyword ideas available. So if, as I scroll down, I can start looking through some of these different keywords, Google discovery ads, Google ads, YouTube, Google shopping ads, Google ads, campaign, Google ads, cost, ads local so i can come up with some idea like google local ads keep scrolling down keyword planner responsive search ads so it gives me a ton of different ideas for keywords that people are typing in a lot and don't get too caught up in the average monthly searches i think it tends to vary for all of these different keywords so just look for some of these different really popular keywords and make sure you're creating resources for them as you go through these keywords, if you search a lot of these keywords on my channel, you'll realize that I've created a lot of different videos about all of these different keywords. And the reason is that's because I'm trying to create resources that people are typing in the most. So using the Google Keyword Planner, you get access to some average monthly search data and you can use this tool, whether it's for your PPC advertising campaigns through Google ads or whether it's through your SEO efforts for Google and basically every other search engine. So the Google Keyword Planner, also one of my favorite keyword tools. And I would say one of the first places I turn when I'm really looking up new keywords and building a keyword list. Now, next keyword tool is going to be Answer the Public. So Answer the Public, what we can do here is, and you could see I did a beach Christmas yesterday when I was doing my other video. So I mentioned all of these different keywords in my other video, but what I wanted to do is go through these five free tools because I think people pay a lot of money for some of the different tools that are available and I do as well, but the free tools can give you all you need, especially if you're on a budget. 
Okay, so once it loads, you can see we have 387 results here. You can download a CSV file, but what you can see is Google Ads questions. So they have visual visualization here, but if I click on data, you can see all these different questions. What I like to do is look for some of the questions at the very top of the list. Are Google Ads worth it? Can Google Ads be scams? Can Google Ads make money? Can Google Ads be profitable? How do Google Ads work? So we'll keep scrolling down when to use Google Ads, how long until Google Ads work, where Google Ads appear. So you can get a bunch of different ideas by using some of these different questions. And then as we come down, prepositions is next. We'll use data for this as well. So you can go through all of these. And what I really like to do is take some of these different keywords. I do a lot of this manually. I'll copy and paste these and just put them on a list. Google Ads for YouTube, for beginners, for small business. So some of these different ideas aren't overly useful but these are all pretty useful to use so with answer the public you can get comparisons so if we keep coming down my favorite section is the alphabeticals so starting just at the top you can just say let me just take some of these top keywords here on each letter because they rank them by search volume so just based on all of the data I know about these keywords these generally are rated by overall search volume so if you're choosing some of these alphabetical keywords at the top of the list, those are what people are typing in the most. So you can create pages on your website, you can create different videos to make sure that you're, again, creating those resources for people that are actively looking for them. So answer the public, another great keyword tool, 387 results just by adding Google Ads. Now last but not least, we're gonna go through this one very quickly, suvol.com. This gives you all the long tail keywords for all of these different search engines. Google, Amazon, Yahoo, Bing, YouTube, Answers, and Wikipedia. So if I'm just looking at YouTube, because that's where I create a lot of my content, you can see tutorial, campaign, now they pull in Google AdSense, Google Ads 2022, Google Ads for YouTube channel. So some of these different options that you have, and then Bing, you get a lot of Google Ads editor, account, manager, AdSense, Keyword Planner, Professional. So you can go through this and find a lot of different long tail keywords as well. They're just using autocomplete for every single search engine, but it gives you all of the top keywords by search volume for all of these different search engines, no matter what you enter here. So you can do something like best hotels in, and now you're gonna see a list of the best hotels, what people are searching for the most. DC, Ocean City, Maryland, Vegas, New York City, Paris, Miami, Las Vegas, in the world, Dubai, New York City. So if you're creating travel guides, this is a great place to start. You have a ton of ideas for different content that you can easily create for your business. So these are my five favorite free keyword research tools. With the Keyword Planner, you do need a Google Ads account. So just create your free Google Ads account, enter in your keyword. You can come up with a ton of different keyword ideas, turn them into content, content ideas. Something like Google Advertising Cost, all you need to do is say, Google advertising costs explained for beginners. How much does Google advertising cost? You could also search these keywords directly in Google, see what's ranking and create better content. So that's ultimately what we're trying to do here with keyword research. You can also use keywords everywhere. Again, this is a Chrome and Firefox plugin. You don't necessarily need to use every single one of these different keyword research tools, but by combining some of the different keyword research tools, especially the Google Search Console, you can get insights into what is ranking, other keywords that you're not ranking for, and put that all together to come up with a great content strategy and increase your SEO performance over the course of the year and beyond. So if you have any questions about any of this, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.